Hey all and welcome back to Wonderlands Gamers. In today's video we have Crack Mask Cove's Lucky Dice locations. Collecting all of these increases your loot luck chance, meaning you get more legendaries more often. We have all the other locations linked in the playlist in the description. I'll link it at the end if you guys are interested. If you guys are enjoying the series, feel free to subscribe to the channel. It is much more appreciated and totally free as well. And with that, let's get into the locations. To start off with, you want to pick up this side mission the second you spawn at Crack Mask Cove. It is the main mission for the area called the Trial of Crooked Eyed Phil. And if you don't pick it up, you will get progression blocked multiple times trying to get around to these locations. The first one does require a little bit of parkour if you want to follow this guide. Otherwise, you can use the photo mode trick. If you guys didn't know, you can you can fly up to different spots with photo mode. And as you're like exiting photo mode, just spam interact and you can get some of these dice locations. I'll show in a bit more detail in a future one. Uh, but otherwise, you can just do that parkour. When you get to the main area, there's quite a few that are immediately obtainable without having to do much progression of the main story. Uh, you can just go around and grab the next, I think there's like five or six, which is pretty good. Also, before I forget again, I will have the lucky dice counter in the bottom left of the screen. That way, one, the video is just easier for you guys to follow. You might be able to find the one you're particularly uh, missing just a whole lot easier. But also, I always have the clips in the wrong order compared to the way I found them because I found them sporadically, just completely randomly. I didn't have any guides and I had to go find the side missions you need to do. Sometimes I was progression blocked and very lost for an hour or two. Uh, but I put all the clips in a different order so that they're easier for you guys to follow in one big loop as you're progressing through the main story and stuff like that. So it's a bit easier. Uh, but just so you know, when you get to the end and see the clip that says, you know, um, 14 out of 22 or whatever it is for this map. Uh, yeah, that's I haven't missed a whole bunch. They're just in a different order. Now, this is the photo mode one I was talking about. You can come to this spot early if you guys want to. And it's just up on that hill, which you can't reach. But if you jump, hit photo mode, if I do it correctly, yep, hit photo mode, and then go up as far as you can, get as close to the dice as you possibly can. And as you're exiting photo mode, spam interaction. And I've actually collected that dice. The other way you could do it, you know, like the way the game intends you to do it, is picking up this side mission, which will require you to progress a bunch of the main mission to make it to that area. Pick up the side mission, complete it in its entirety, you'll make your way to the actual cave itself, where the lucky dice is actually at. Also, you won't miss out on the loot if you do the photo mode trick, because you can do the exact same thing to collect the loot, just spam interaction in photo mode, and you will pick up items as well just in case you guys didn't know. Now, I believe this is the last one you can do without having picked up the main mission. So if you haven't already picked up the main mission, definitely do it now because you'll get progression blocked. I think there's like three gates that stop you from getting to the rest of the currently shaded map. So pick up that, keep going as you're doing it at these locations. Uh, just keep progressing through it and you'll eventually uh, be able to get to all the locations. The first one here is really close to this fast travel station. So if you've been here already, it's literally just at it. You just have to do a little bit of parkour to get up on this roof. The next one is also super close to that. It's just around the corner, just past the tents tucked away behind them. And now that you've made it to the new area, pretty much once you go past that fast travel station, you've made it through the gate and there's like a giant town area, which has a good like five to seven more dice in it. But the main point is there is a heap of side missions here and you can just ignore all of them if you want. Of course, if you want to enjoy the side missions, they're a good time. But if you're just looking for the lucky dice, you can completely ignore them. Usually for uh, especially these side mission maps, you do have to do all of them to like actually unlock parts of the map, which have a bunch of dice in them. I believe there's only like one or two that that is actually necessary for this map. And there's like five to six, maybe even seven side missions. So I'll point at the ones you guys actually need in a bit. Uh, but just so you know, don't have to waste your time on it. Just keep progressing the main mission. You'll eventually open up the next gate. And as you follow the story, you'll be able to collect the next few locations. This one I slowed down a lot because it was actually, I think, one of the last ones I found. It was really confusing. So if you just follow my cursor there, you'll make it through that gate that was right there. And you get to the first location past it. And just on the edge here, you can actually just drop off where there was a giant mobbing area. There's a little ledge here for some reason. You can melee through this wall and you can run through the little sewer area, which there's some traps that don't do that much damage. So you can just run through them if you want. And at the very end, you'll find a dice location there. The next one's also kind of tricky to get to. It's on the bridge connecting the previous area. We will just add to the next one for the main mission again. So just follow my cursor from the fast travel station if you're a bit confused. But on this bridge here, you want to try and jump off it onto that ladder right there, which might take a couple of attempts. But if you can do that part, perfect. And then for some reason, jumping up on this ledge is really difficult. It took me like four attempts. So jump on the ammo box, then you can jump onto it and collect that dice. This one's actually really close to your main mission objective when you go to talk to Phil, that guy that's in the box suspended over like the edge of the whole map. If you go around the corner, you'll find the lucky dice location right there. 
This one's on the edge of a wall, so it's not on, you know, the left side. It's on the right side. You have to progress a little bit further, and you can go around and find it tucked away there. The next two are progression blocked by a side mission called All Washed Up, which is located very closely to that fast travel station. So you want to travel there, pick that one up, and progress at least halfway through the mission. If you're wondering how to get through that giant skull of whatever that thing was and get into the originally grayed out part of the map, you cannot otherwise access this area without doing the side mission. The mission will lead you out of that pipe, walk directly straight, you'll find the first location, and the second one, you will have to explore a little bit or just follow this guide. You'll have to do a few jumps to get up to the higher level and you'll find the last dice location. If you found the video helpful, feel free to subscribe down below for more. I'll leave the playlist linked right here on screen if you want to check out the other locations or it'll always be in the description. Other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Until next time, adios.